Hello and welcome to Knife Delights. This is another three for Thursday. This great open tag, which was started by that lovable, affable, and jolly Irishman himself, Patty of Patty's Potato Peelers. Thank you, Patty, for starting this fun series. What you see before you is the entirety of my cold steel collection. And if you can count, one, two, three, three for Thursday here. So you're getting to see my entire uh, cold steel collection here in this video. Before I get started on the knives, though, I do want to bring your attention to Doom Crew Outdoors channel. That's Doom Crew Outdoors. I just watched a wonderful video of his where he uh, talks about some uh, case knives and I think a frost knife. But anyway, three pocket knives uh, that were passed down to him. They had been uh, owned by his grandfather and his grandfather has recently passed. So... Um, for one, my condolences to you, Doom Crew. Um, it, it's tough when you when you when you uh, lose someone that's uh, near and dear to you. But folks, I'm going to leave a link to that video down below. Check it out. Uh, it's a very heartwarming video, and they are beautiful, beautiful knives. Now, Doom Crew is at about 453 subscribers. So please, after you watch that video, hit the subscribe button. Let's do what we can to get him up to 500. Doom Crew Outdoors. Let them know Knife Delight sent you. Okay, on to our knives here. So not only do I have three of them, I have what represents uh, kind of the progression of the country of manufacture for cold steel. This is the Cold Steel Voyager, the medium size. And it was made in Japan. And then we have the SRK-C, the compact, and it was made in Taiwan. And we have the Cold Steel Mini Tac over here, the neck knife, and it was made in China. Now, if you remember in 2020, Lynn Thompson sold Cold Steel to GSM Outdoors. And I remember in his announcement video uh, talking about the sale, one of the things he talked about is having uh, more access uh, to the market. And I have noticed now that GSM Outdoors has taken over that you can now find cold steel knives in places like Dunham Sports. Uh, I've seen them in Mills Fleet Farm, and I'm sure they're hitting a lot of other retail outlets. So it looks like that came uh, came to pass that he's, he's getting a lot more access to his knives out in the general retail environment. Now the cold steel, this one here, the Voyager, I forgot it for just a moment. This is the medium size and from the best guess I can come up with it came out into the in the 90s and it had an integrated clip, pocket clip there, uh, but it's broken on this one, and I guess I guess that was kind of the problem with that uh, integrated pocket clip is they broke kind of easy. But this is a fascinating knife. Now, as you know, cold steel makes everything big, so the medium is actually the small model, the smallest model of the Voyagers, and they do not make the medium anymore that I know of. I believe they just make the large and the extra large. And the... Uh, Handle shape has the frame here. The shape has changed some over the years. But this is a fascinating knife. I really love it. Uh, I picked it up in a pawn shop for just a few dollars. It's interesting because it's a mid-lock and I push the lock. And it has like a, a one-third stop in it. You can hear it here. Well, I guess you can't hear it. But it kind of locks right there. I thought that's interesting on a on a uh, midlock knife like that to have that stop in there, but it has a great blade shape. It looks like it was barely used. Maybe it was carried a lot, but hardly ever used. So this is one of the old style Voyagers made in Japan. A very popular cold steel model is the survival rescue knife. Now this is the Dash C, meaning it's the compact version. Uh, the compact version has a 5 inch blade where the, the uh, full size SRK is a 6 inch knife. So the overall length of this knife is 9.5 inches. 
As you can see, I have not used it. It still has the packing grease on it. Hopefully this summer, maybe I can get it out and, and use it some. It looks to be a very uh, well-built knife. Uh, it's These uh, SRKs have had uh, great reviews. Now the uh, blade style is a clip point. And it has a uh, tough X finish is what they call it. It is made out of SK5 carbon steel. And the knife weighs 5.1 ounces. And the handle material is what they call Cray X. And it is a very, it's like a rubbery type material almost. It's got the stippling in it. It gives you a really good grip, really good purchase. And this knife comes with the Secure X sheath. So, pretty nice looking sheath right here. It is a, uh, well, it's a survival, rescue, tactical kind of knife. And I think it would perform very well outdoors. Again, I've seen some reviews on these knives and everyone seems to think it's a pretty good knife for the money. Now the MSRP that I just looked up, and this is March 2023, I think the MSRP is around $54. However, as you know, you can go on to some online knife outlets and I'm sure you can get them uh, for a cheaper price than that. Okay. Last here we have the mini tack and I featured this knife several times. It's designed as a neck knife Just a great great knife And uh, I didn't get the specs on this so I just thought we'd uh, Weigh it here real quick. Give me just a moment Okay, I wanted to weigh it with the sheath because with the sheath it is at four ounces even and I wanted to do that because of the neck knives, this is this is fairly heavy. I mean, you, you know you're wearing this one. And I, I brought just one of the uh, CRKT Minimalists. I just thought we'd compare here. And as you can see, the Minimalist is 2.1 ounces. So this knife here weighs twice as much as, as a Minimalist weighs. And again... You can feel it when you're wearing that one on your neck. Yeah, we can check the length out here real quick. Looks like it has, um, well, for cutting edge, about three and a quarter inches for a cutting edge. And we got an overall length of just under seven inches. So some ballpark figures there. Since I've got the minimalist here, might as well pull it out. Give you a good comparison there. You can see the difference in size. So, like a lot of knives and a lot of other things in life, you have options. Um, this is a little better built knife, a bigger blade. Um, I think it, it uh, really fits in the knife. It uh, fits in the knife. Fits in the hand really well. Really good purchase on it. Um, but this one is a much more lightweight option. So. It's your choice, which, whichever one you choose to carry. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this quick 3 for Thursday video. And again, thanks, Patty, for starting this series. It's just another opportunity to present knives in a, in a little uh, different format. And uh, it's just a lot of fun. I want to take a moment and thank all my subscribers, both new and old, and everybody that uh, views the videos, uh, hits the like button, subscribes. Thank you all very much. Uh, the channel is doing great, and I can't wait to see you until our next video. But until then, have a very delightful day.